Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another Bayrut presentation. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So in this presentation, we are going to look at the Bayrut paper 2 for 2012, question 4. So let's look at the question. This is our question 1. The figure below shows the pyramid of biomass where we have uh, traffic level A, B and C. Question A1, identify traffic levels B and C. So traffic level B is e, the primary consumers and traffic level C is e, the secondary consumers. We now look at the traffic level A will be the producers where we have plants and traffic level B will be the primary consumers where we have the uh, abivorous and traffic level C will be the secondary consumers we are going to have the carnivorous. So these were the answers to this question. Let us now move on to another question. So here we have our question A2. The question reads, state the names given to organisms that feed at trophic levels B and C. So at trophic level B, we have the herbivorous, and at trophic level C, we have the carnivorous. Okay, so these were the answers to this question. Let us now move on to our question A3. So our question 3 reads, explain why level C is much smaller than the other levels. So level C is much smaller than other levels because only about 10% of the carbon mass is passed on from one trophic level to the next level. So level C receives very small amount of carbon, hence it is smaller than a level A and what B. So here we have said that uh, because only about 10% of carbon mass is passed on from one trophic level to the next level c receives very small amount of carbon hence it is smaller than a and b so here what it means that if you have 1000 kilojoules of energy at trophic level a this energy will be passed on to the next level and only 10 percent of it is going to be passed on so in this case 10 percent of 1000 kilojoules of energy will be a hundred okay again there on b the same kilojoules of energy will be transferred on to the next level of which only 10% will be transferred on and it's going to be a 10%. Okay, so you can see that there is a decrease in how the energy levels are being transferred from the producers to the primary consumers then to the secondary consumers. So these were the answers to this question. Let us now look at another question. So here we have our question B right here. The question reads, describe the flow of energy in the pyramid so when it comes to the flow of energy we know that the sun is the primary source of energy of which the plants are going to absorb the solar energy and convert uh, this energy into energy containing compounds so the plants are the producers of energy in the pyramid they convert the energy from the sun into energy containing compounds and this energy is then transferred to the primary consumers after the consumers have been eaten the plants then the primary consumers can also be eaten by the secondary consumers okay uh, so here they are going to obtain only about 10 percent of the energy which primary consumers obtain from the producers and the other 90 percent of energy is lost through respiration growth movement digestion and excretion so here we have said that uh, plants are the producers of energy in the pyramid they convert energy from the sun into energy containing compounds. This energy is then transferred to the primary consumers after the consumers have eaten the plants. The primary consumers can also be eaten by secondary consumers, obtaining about 10% of the energy which primary consumers obtain from producers. The other 90% of the energy is lost through different uh, processes such as respiration, digestion and excretion so these were the answers to this question so we have now come to the end of our presentation so thank you so much for having time to view this content this has been your presenter mr mlenga bye bye